What up, YouTube? This is Daniel Rucker with True Table. Welcome to the table. Without further ado, I'm just go ahead and get in here, get in the kitchen, because you know what I do on this channel. I cook. Today is absolutely no different. Gentlemen, people, I want to discuss something that I don't think I've touched on in detail. What is that? It's that being yourself is the absolute dopest thing you can do. Why do I think this? Why do I feel this? See, a lot of times living life has elements to it that from cultural pressure, from family pressure, from, you know, where you're born in the hierarchy of your family. If you're the youngest, if you're the oldest, if you're the middle child, if you were born into a family of believers or born into a family of people who pursued higher education or born into a family of entrepreneurs. See, the thing about this life is that they don't tell you that your birth into circumstances, but you are an individual. Why is that important? One of the things I had to learn at a very early age, and don't ask me why I've been in tune and in touch with this kind of stuff, but it's just been what it is, is that I had to understand that my thoughts and my outlook on things were my thoughts and my outlook on things, my viewpoint, my perspective. And even at a young age, I sought out sought out in the world because like I've stated on, my, on this channel before, we're all programmed. We're all programmed by the very things I listed, culture, family, the hierarchy, the expectations that come with being alive, that come with being a person, being a male, being a female, you know, whichever. The thing about it is that they never tell you that you can sit back and decide what you subscribe to. What is it that you're going to do every day that you have an opportunity to be on this planet? Are you going to succumb to circumstances? Are you going to allow for people who don't know you or systems or structure, policy to shape your perspective, to shape how you allow the thing that is the freest realm on the planet? And that's your mind. I was listening to my Spotify and one of the songs came up, which has kind of sparked me wanting to talk about this topic tonight because I've heard this song tens of thousands of times. One of my favorite artists, Eminem. You know, why I like Eminem is for a multitude of reasons. I like Eminem because he's aggressive. I like Eminem because he is able to utilize words that we, for the most part, all, all understand, but frame a different feeling, frame a different reality from the very words we all understand. I think that's artistic. Not only do I think that's artistic, I think it's genius, right? Anyway, the song, The Way I Am. I've heard the song tens of thousands of times and it's always hit, it's always connected, right? Because not only is the production awesome, not only is the lyrical, you know, um, vibrancy there, not only is the song catchy, it literally is like a declaration of sort. I think we all as people are always looking for acceptance. And I think that that just comes with the human condition, right? But one thing I had to learn is acceptance only comes in its truest form, when you as a person decide to accept yourself. Now, I've mentioned it on this channel before about things like self-love, so on and so forth. And people have coined this phrase, you know, things become commercialized. Sometimes it becomes watered down. And sometimes with the popularity of something, it can kind of feel cheap. Or it can cheapen the, the organic nature of something, right? But I still stand true on the principle that you have to be accepted of yourself. You have to love yourself first. Why is this important? This is important because you are only going to ever be you. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. 
I don't know if y'all caught it. There is absolutely no procedure. There is absolutely no level of technology. There's nothing that you can do to morph yourself into someone else. You were born structured, created, and, 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 and cultivated the way you were born. There is not one individual on this planet who shares your exact same DNA and, 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 and outlook and, and temperament and personality and you know uniqueness. No one, not even twins. They may look alike, even if they are born. I don't even know what you call them, maternal or I don't I don't know the term, so forgive me. But you know the twins who are exactly alike, the, the line with like in, in a sense of the viewpoint of the exactly alike. But even with those um circumstances, those twins have differences. Their characters are different. Like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen is like two of the most famous twins on the planet. But they're vastly different. Tia and uh Tia and Tamara Mori, same thing. You get my point. I wanted to jump on my camera and speak to you guys, my audience, the True Table family, you know, and, and, and hopefully the world that you as a person have to understand that the acceptance of yourself is where the journey of discovery happens. And the discovery is not just the world. The discovery is, is, is such an internal thing it, and it's not mystic. You know, it's not, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily euphoric, but the ability to, 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 to think, the ability to have ideas, the ability to, to dream, the ability to, you know, um, conceptualize things is one of the most powerful things on the planet. See, I don't think they do people a, a justice by... I don't know how I would phrase this. I don't think they do people the proper justice when it comes to speaking to you and having you understand how uniquely powerful you as a human being are. There are mammals on this planet that can run faster, jump higher, that are instinctively more vicious in their anatomy. But even they cannot trump you when it comes to the ability to take your thoughts and create the world outside. Like everything, everything you hear, everything you, you eat, everything you wear, everything you drive, where you live, this platform right here was created by the mindset or thought or, or, or an idea from someone or a multitude of people. And then when the idea was present and it was birthed in the mind of the person, they went to work and created it. That's powerful. If that doesn't make you feel unique, if that doesn't make you feel cool, if that doesn't make you feel awesome, well, then we got some work to do. Because see, every single day I wake up, I wouldn't want to be nobody else but myself, Daniel Rucker. There's no one else that I can imagine being. There was no one else that I would want to somehow, some way, take self and then transfer and trade lives. There's, there's no one. I appreciate the experiences I've had. I appreciate the life that I've lived. I appreciate what has become myself in the journey. And one of the things that I wanted to put on the table and, and not leave out is that, see, you got to learn and look at the world and understand that the world is going to constantly try to figure out how to put you in a box. They're going to, if you allow them to, they will categorize you from what they can digest. They will find a lane for you. They will find a, a uh, they will place value on you if you let them. That's your job. We as human beings, are evolutionary people. What do I mean by that? I mean that your mindset can change and grow. It can expand. It can adapt. It can change lives, change policy, change technology. If you are 
fortunate enough to be one of these powerful beings. You should feel awesome every single day you wake up. Don't let the pressures of life that society says that it's supposed to be like this or you're supposed to feel like this or you're supposed to look like this or you're supposed to have this. F that. Ask yourself every day you wake up, if you own a mirror, what is it that you want to do? What is it that you feel is necessary? What is it that you value? And you do that. And that, my friends, makes you awesome. So that is what I want to leave you guys with today. It's Friday. I hope that everyone has a good weekend. Stay safe. Um, I'm going to continue to bring this content. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I so appreciate it. For all my new subscribers, thank you so much. Welcome to the True Table family. I'm going to continue to bring this content to you. You guys enjoy your weekend. Until next time.